Amazon Game Studios has been working in partnership with Athlon Games on a new Lord of the Rings MMORPG. Details are still scarce about this project, but in this video I'd like to break down what we do know so far, and a few details that hint at what we might expect to see from this upcoming game. On September 4th of 2018, Athlon Games, which is a global publisher of console and PC titles, announced that it had signed a long-term licensing agreement with Middle-Earth Enterprises to develop and publish a video game based on The Lord of the Rings. Since that announcement, it was also revealed that Amazon Game Studios was partnering with Athlon's parent company to bring this MMO to market. In the spring of 2020, a new job listing was posted at Amazon, which stated that they were looking for a senior character artist who could help create an art style for the title that is different at a glance from the games and movies that have come before them. The listing went on to say that they need an artist with bravery and artistic skills to help them do something new and to bring innovative gameplay to life in functional, beautiful spaces. Amazon has actually posted several job listings for this project, giving us some clues about what we can expect to see. For instance, in another listing for a lead animator, it mentioned that the Lord of the Rings MMO is aiming to be AAA quality, and that the person who gets the job will have a broad impact and a lot of discretion. This person will help develop a combat loop that feels incredibly satisfying to play. They would also be working with the game's designers and engineers to develop fascinating heroes, unsettling enemies, and breathtaking cinematic characters in a variety of settings. This would be done with the aim to express storytelling through in-game cinematics. Another ad for a gameplay UI engineer called for a person who would help develop the game's many social and gameplay features, assisting with the creation of nearly every player-facing feature in the game. This person would, quote, face the challenge of live game feature development where delighting customers is a constant occupation. Another job post for the game's art director sought a person who would help create and establish a world-class art team to produce breathtaking visuals for the upcoming MMO. They stated that this candidate would embed deeply with game teams to shape a unique visual style, innovate with new techniques and technologies, introduce production practices to empower artists and improve efficiency, and leverage lighting and rendering to deliver an impactful final result. Amazon also said in a press release that the game will give fans around the globe a new immersive game experience for epic exploration of the vast world of Tolkien. While it appears to be very early days for the project, it certainly seems with all of these details that Amazon Studios is focused on bringing fans of the franchise a visually stunning and riveting end-user experience. As of yet, no concrete story details are available, but the studio did confirm that this game will be separate from Amazon's Lord of the Rings TV show. That series is set to take place in the Second Age, which is long before the events of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy. It has also been confirmed that the plan is for the game to be available on console and PC, though the fact that this title has no release date yet suggests that this potentially could release on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. This new Lord of the Rings game is being developed by the same internal Amazon studio that is currently working on the 17th century MMO, New World. People involved in the project include veterans who have worked on several other large-scale online games such as EverQuest, World of Warcraft, Defiance, Destiny, Planetside, and Rift. It also appears that this new title will be competing directly with the existing Lord of the Rings MMO, The Lord of the Rings Online. That game, which launched all the way back in 2007, is still running today, and there is no indication that it will shut down when Amazon's new title launches. However, it is notable that Lord of the Rings Online is no longer a heavy hitter, so to speak, in the MMO genre. Steam charts show a peak player count for the game at just over 2,000. However, it remains a cult favorite due to its expansive and detailed approach to living inside Middle-earth. Many critics have commented about how the art style of that game didn't help it to age very well. However, the fact that it is based on the books and has managed to stay running for well over a decade proves that the setting of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-Earth is a great fit for an MMO. 
Also, the fact that Amazon is focused on creating a visually stunning game could certainly play to the studio's favor in differentiating it from any other competitors. And who knows, perhaps a big and bold adaptation is what it might take to bring in casual gamers who are already familiar with so many other Tolkien books, games, and movie adaptations. Regarding the setting of the game, there are certainly many different time periods to choose from in which exciting events occur in the lore of Tolkien's Middle-earth. Many fans will love the chance to see or even take part in the War of Wrath at the end of the First Age, in which the powerful and evil Valar Melkor, later known predominantly as Morgoth, suffered his defeat against the mighty host of Valinor. Or perhaps it could be interesting to see the events surrounding the War of Sauron and the Elves in the Second Age, as the Dark Lord tears through Eregion in his quest to reclaim the Rings of Power. While the events of the First and Second Age provide some fantastic opportunities for immersive gameplay, they would also be especially challenging to adapt for a few reasons. First of all, the major events of the First and Second Ages span across many thousands of years, so it would be difficult to choose a place in the timeline for the setting of this game that would allow a player's character to participate in the outworking of a few of the more notable events. Also, it would be difficult to make the game intriguing to those who aren't familiar with the lore outside of Tolkien's more popular writings that take place in the Third Age. For these reasons, I believe the setting that is sure to draw the biggest interest from more casual fans would be the Third Age starting with the events outlined in the Fellowship of the Ring. This of course is the same setting that was chosen for the Lord of the Rings Online, and the fact that that game has survived as long as it has stands as evidence that there is plenty of content that can be developed that fits within the narrative of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Amazon certainly should have its hands full for a while with the task of constructing a game that captures and expands upon the spirit of Tolkien's works, especially if they wish to do so in a way that will connect with casual gamers as well as hardcore fans. With it being so early in the production of this game, I'll withhold judgment until I see more. However, once we do get more information, I'll be sure to keep you all up to date as much as I can. But I'm curious what you think about the prospect of a new Amazon-produced Lord of the Rings MMO. Are you excited or concerned? Are there any particular features you'd like to see from a new Middle-Earth-based online game? Or are there any other MMO titles you'd like to see this one be modeled after? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Lord of the Rings and other sci-fi and fantasy content. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.